There is a decry over the importation of sugar, which is cheap, according to local farmers from neighboring nations. According to the farmers in Western Kenya, this is crippling the already dilapidated sugar industry in the country that perhaps they say is due to the lack of adequate attention from the authorities in the national government. Benjamin Wakoli now joins us in regards to this. And Benjamin, thank you for joining us on the broadcast. Tell us more about where there is a likely going to be heeding of the call and the decry by the farmers in regards to the importation of the cheap sugars they said is already diluting the sugar industry in the country. Thank you so much, Ayuba. We are getting you live uh, from uh, Amakueni, where you are doing the devolution conference. And we are live from Nambale, uh, whereby the, the Ken farmers are decrying that uh, the influx of the cheap uh, sugar from the neighboring countries uh, is hurting the, the, the local uh, sugar industries, whereby they are really losing a lot because the livelihoods are... Uh, or, or their, nini, their mainstay is about the can uh, farming, is, which is really affecting their, the families, uh, whereby the fees of payment of the fees of, for their uh, children in schools is really affected. Now, to go now, hapa at Kweseku, wakatueleze, ni nini wanataka ifanyike na serikali ifanye nini ili kikisha kwamba viwanda vina na wili na kuendelea kupata ile mapato ambayo na uh, kithi na mahitaji ya familia zao. Uh, tueleze majina yako na ni nini uh, malalamishienu kuhusiana na sukari kutoka inchi za, za jirani zetu hapa. Kwa majina naitwa Peter Dima, nikiwa Secretary General National Secretary, Secretary General wa Kenya Association of Sugar Cane and Allied Products. Malalamishi yetu ni kwamba kuna sukari ambayo inatoka kwa njia ya magendo kutoka nje ya Uganda na hii sukari inaua the local sugar industry. Kwa hivyo sisi tunaomba kwamba hiyo serikali ingilie ya, ione ya kwamba hiyo sukari siweze kuingia katika nchi kwa sababu vile inakuja tumeshindwa kama ni ni magendo au ni official. Magari zinakuja, askari wanaona zinapita, alafu uh, market iko flooded. Na market inapokuwa flooded hizi sugar factories zitakuja funga. Na kizikifunga sisi hatuna penye tunapeleka uh, miwa yetu. Kwa hivyo tunaomba tu serikali ya kwamba hii maneno ya sugarcane ya mini ya smuggling sugar kutoka Uganda inaumiza mkulima wa miwa. Sisi hapa Busia ile tu kitu yenye tunogo nacho ni, ni miwa. Kwa hivyo miwa inapokufa sisi hatuna live nukudi nyingine. Kwa hivyo nukuomba tu serikali kwamba lazima hii maneno ikome. Tumeandika barua leo, tumepeana barua imeenda kwa minister wa agriculture, minister wa, <coughs> wa trade na minister wa internal security bara matiang. Hatuwezi endelea na hii yenye mnaita magendo. Mimi naita official magendo. Tunasema hii commission. Na kama hii commission tumepatia 14 days, sisi wananchi wenyewe tutatumia the sovereign power tutakuja simamisha haya magari yasipite na sukari. Na kulingana na wewe asa ile mpakani huenda hizi viwanda vinatoa miwa yenu inakatwa inapelekwa viwandani kusagwa ama sukari wanatoka wanatoa sukari kule nje hizo. Sasa hii hatuwezi sema nini miwa sasa hizi uh, viwanda zetu hasichughuliki na mambo ya miwa kwa sababu tuna fununu ya kwamba kuna kiwanda ambacho kinafanya repackaging inatoa sukari kule inaleta alafu anafanya repackaging kwa hivyo sukari hao hashughuliki na mkulima kuna miwa inaza katwe maliza hata wiki mbili jabebwa kwa sababu huyu sana anaangalia the cost ya kutoa sukari nje na cost ya production ile ya nje iko cheap kwa hivyo wao amekuamilia kwa sukari ya magendo ambaye amesahau mkulima. So, Shukrani sana labda moni yako ndugu yangu. Uh, kwa majina naitwa Bonface Manda mimi ni mkulima wa miwa na ningependa kusema hivi. Ya kwamba kwa nini serikali hii imewaangalia wakulima wa majani, wakulima wa kahawa na hata wakulima wa mahindi na sisi wakulima wa, wa miwa tunaendelea kuteseka. Ukiangalia factory zetu mingi aidha zimeanguka ama ziko zina limp ziko karibu na kuanguka. Kwa hivyo sisi tunajua ya kwamba serikali hii haina haja na mkulima wa miwa, mahususi mkulima ambaye anahusiana na maneno ya miwa. Serikali hii haitaki hai, hai kumsaidia. Kwa sababu gani nasema hivyo? Ninajua ya kwamba wakati huu ambao tunazungumza, tuna election ambazo ziko around the corner. 2022 elections zinakuja. Na tunajua ya kwamba kuna mabwenyenye ambao wanatumia hii maneno ya sukari kuingiza sukari wale watu wanaitwa sugar barons ambao wanaingiza sukari kutoka nje wanaingiza katika nchi ya Kenya wauze ili wapate pesa za campaign na sisi tuna hofu sana ya kwamba hii mchezo ambao unaendelea na serikali inaangalia tunaona ni kwamba kuna watu ambao wako katika serikali hii ambao wanajua hii mchezo na and they are part of the game kwa hivyo sisi jinsi ambavyo mwenzetu amesema tunapeana siku 14 kama kweli serikali hii haitakuwa imefanya kitu chochote tunajua kwamba article 1 
of the constitution yasema ya kwamba all the sovereign powers belong to the people na sisi tutachukua sheria na hiyo sheria itakuwa itakuwa hatua ya kisheria ambayo tutachukua kuhakikisha ya kwamba we exercise our powers hatuwezi kuendelea kuumia kulima miwa zetu zinakaa kwa shamba it's not being harvested kwa sababu kuna flooded sugar tunajua ya kwamba hizi factory ambazo tuko nazo mingi zao saa hizi wako na sukari ambayo imejaa katika stores zao hawajawahi kuuza kwa sababu gani kwa sababu ya imported sugar ambayo inatoka nje kwa hivyo sisi tunasema ya kwamba hatutakubali nataka serikali hii ikiongozwa na uhuru kenyata pamoja na former prime minister Raila Odinga kabla wajakuja kutuomba kura zao zenye wanaomba za 2022 wahakikisha wamesimamisha haya maneno wasipofanya hivyo hatutawaruhusu kuja kutuomba kura tena na, na kwa sasa unaona hali hii huenda ikapelekea viwanda baadhi ya viwanda vya serikali kufufuliwa ni vigumu sana kwa sababu tayari viwanda ambavyo tuko navyo viko kwa madeni makubwa makubwa na kama kwamba hawawezi kuweza kusiaga sukari na kuuza sukari yao watafanya namna gani itakuwa ni vigumu kwa hivyo ni lazima cheap sugar ambayo inatoka nje illegal sugar ambayo inatoka nje isimamishwe ndio hizo viwanda viweze kupata kuweza kuuza sukari and in return pia waweze kulipa hata wakulima wao pesa zao ndio pia wakulima waendelee kwa encourage kupanda miwa sawa shukrani sana labda kwa dakika chache tu kaweze kuongezea Ya mimi naitwa Musa Ikaya, mimi ndio katibu mkuu wa bunge la haki usawa na maendeleo. E, ile ambayo ningependa ndio kusema ni kwamba sisi kama raia na wananchi tumegundua kwamba kuna magari ambayo yanatumika huko Busia. Hayo magari sana sana ni aina ya Probox, kuna Toyota Wish, kuna lori na kuna pikipiki. Na wakati wa upande wa lori na pikipiki kuna rangi zinawekwa katika hizo magari. Ili zinapopika zinazopita zikipita mahali kuna usalama kuna vile uh, aziangaliwi kinili na pia tungependa ningependa kuambia kwamba kuna area ambazo sisi tumegundua ambapo hii sukari inapitia na hizo area ni pamoja ni pamoja na Alupe Ebusitema Adongosi Sofia Marachi Soke, Sokomatope na mahali naitwa Amoni hizo ndio area ambazo sukari inapitia tunaambia serikali iongeze security katika hizo area kwa sababu sisi wakitaka information wakuje kwetu tutawapatia kwa sababu tunajua mali penye sukari inatoka na mali penye inaenda na hizo siku zenye tumepeana zikiisha tutaanza kutaja majina ya watu ambao wanashughulika na hiyo sukari Uh, uh, thank you so much Ayuba uh, Siva from the Kenya Farmers. They have mentioned some of the uh, the, the border points along Abu, uh, uh, Kenya Uganda uh, border like uh, uh, Soko Matope, Adungos and Amoni along Abusia uh, 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 border. Uh, the other uh, border points along the uh, Tanzania which is uh, Migori Uh, Kwale and also Transoya uh, county whereby there is also some influx of uh, cheap sugar from uh, Uganda and also Garissa county that is uh, on the side of uh, Somalia. Uh, reporting for K24 from Busia county my name is Benjamin Okoli. Back to you Ayub Ain Makweni. Benjamin Wakoli, thank you from Nambale on that economic note and the grievances that were raised by the sugar farmers and uh, the intervention they have called unto the government for perhaps an address of the problems that they have raised. Encounter